to Crazy Fango Shime. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So finally I am going to be reacting to the 11th episode of Outlander. The season is nearly over. I cannot believe it. So quickly it's coming to an end after such a long wait. Seriously, like I've just been going over like a small review that I'm going to do at the final episode. But seriously, this season has seriously been quite good. Like to be honest, like in some seasons of Outlander, it does get a bit boring. And to be honest, this one was actually my favorite season out of all of them. I thought that last season, like season three, was going to be my favorite, but season four definitely is my favorite one so far. So I'm very excited to see in this episode what happens because obviously the massive cliffhanger was that Roger might go back to the future. So I'm very excited to see what happens. Okay, let's just get straight into this because I'm very excited to watch this. <sighs> episode like um I had a bit of mixed reactions and I didn't talk about all that I felt about it but I feel like when Jamie gets one idea into his head he sticks to it and it's kind of like what Brianna was talking about she was like saying obviously like I if I ever forgive him for what he did to Roger I still will never forget what he said to me and it's true words stick to memory more than at well depends if it's like an abusive relationship obviously but like Ver verbal abuse sticks more than anything else so like it's always there in your mind you're always thinking about it not always thinking about it but it always comes back to you and it like affects your self-esteem and stuff like that so that's very true and the fact that he was saying like oh you fabricated that you were like um raped and stuff in the last one I was like Jamie you don't need to say that like she's trying to get across like a point to you like don't say she fabricate fabric excuse me can't speak English today fabricated it instead just like listen to what she's trying to tell and stuff but obviously like that whole thing was like a massive deal like it's so confusing because of all the different people who were involved and again it just seems like he just didn't look to two sides of the story so that's why I wanted to talk about it because he said that and also because um I guess in the act of forgiveness as well, there's also two sides of a story, so hopefully we get to see Claire and also Brianna forgive Jamie, because I feel like Claire has a little bit of like, how should I say it, not like hatred or anything, but but like, um, she's kind of like a drawing away from him, which kind of like, you just see it's kind of like a little bit of distance between them, which is sad! I love them but um yeah I just hope that this whole situation is resolved in the future we didn't mean to be reckless we thought that I know what you thought what you both thought it's just I'm finding it hard not to think about how Brianna and Roger must feel You must feel like so overwhelmed. Oh, you've children of your own, you'll understand. Peter, stay there. By the window. The light. Wait, it's your face. Here. What are you doing, Theresa? I'm drawing you. Why on earth would you do that? You're beautiful. Aww. Thank you, Miss Theresa. But there's much to be done, and Mistress Cameron will not you let me worry about Mistress Cameron. Oh, that's so nice, she's drawing her! She is beautiful. Oh, she's excited deep down. You really should try it on. She'll need to take some measurements, of course. We want you to look your best, dear, for the dinner. It's 
Please don't tell things. me you're going to try and partner her with someone. Thank you, but I'm honestly happier being by myself. Reading, drawing. You shouldn't isolate yourself. I used to paint. I was never as talented as your grandmother, Helen. You wouldn't have forced her into a marriage. She herself wouldn't accept. Aww. I'm not her Helen. She was headstrong, followed her heart. And after her father died, she met the man she truly loved. Trying to her. Her father would have been happy for me. You're right. Conversation is good for a worried mind. Oh God, him. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present my niece, Rihanna Princess. <gasps> wait! Oh my God! Hold on a second, wait. Oh, she looks so pretty. over time. That's Billy Boyd. Oh my god. This is so cool. It's like Lord of the Rings crossovers Outlander. Oh. Yay. Okay. Oh. And one of these stones fashioned into a piece of jewelry. A gift. Tell me, my dear, which one pleases you most? Oh no, is he's going to propose to her. The topaz or the diamond? I'm sorry, the actor's so handsome, I just can't. Oh. oh, he looks beautiful in navy blue, can I just say? Oh my god! Okay, haha, -ha. perv, go away. Join us, will you? What? Join our militia. You want me? You've courage? And I trust you. If I'm to fight Trion's army, I can think of no man I'd rather have by my side. I'm honored at your best. But... My place is here. With Marcelia and Jama. It's is here. If you're missing for the glory on it, it's important. Oh. See you then. Thank you. <laughs> the baby ruined the moment. <laughs> no, wait, I just want to ask. <laughs> Baby just ruined the end beautiful moment. Anyway, um, I was just going to ask because before I didn't get a chance to really talk about it. I just wanted to quickly watch the next scene. But the part where Marsley said, I love, I think it was like, I love or I want a whole man or not at all. That kind of reminds me of what obviously Roger says. Like, I want you or not at all. What does that mean to her though for Fergus? Does that mean like she wants him to be like a full man with two hands and then be able to do everything, but then sending him off to be in the militia just to fight and perhaps even die? I don't understand that part. If someone can really, like, explain that to me, can you please? Because, yeah, I just don't understand that part. So, um, yeah. But anyway, let's just continue. You claim to tell fortunes by holding a personal item. <laughs> it was rather amusing, I must admit. Though not the strangest thing that happened during my time in Jamaica. A very strange Ew, person. Ew, you perv! <laughs> but I, uh, do have something for occasions such as these that I learned a long time ago. On the subject of psychology. The science of the soul, if you will. Well, it sounds intriguing. Yet it only works with strangers. Maybe all party? Of course. I'll ask you a few questions, and I want you to picture whatever comes to mind first. Oh, and you are not with oh. the eyes. Excuse me! I see the contact between John Gray and that other guy. <laughs> and given that squirrels tend to hoard things away, it would seem that your problems are secrets. Ooh. Something Mrs. Alderdice doesn't know about them, since the squirrel was in her garden. I assure you I know everything there is to know about my son. <laughs> Do you know that he's gay? If you'll excuse Baby. me for a moment, I must take some air. Oh, yes, I knew it! My father would never divulge anything that you must have known. tell me. He's an old man. Very true. 
Relax. Talk to me about my father's honor. Caster is very right about that, especially about the period of time, because I think Brianna, she's obviously holding out on hope, but she also has to remember, especially in the case of how she was talking to people, um, like, how she has to tread carefully with what she says, but also tread carefully with society. As we've seen before, especially in this season, if you don't tread carefully in society, it can give you a bad name and a bad light. So I think Brianna does need to maybe think about doing something in the meantime while they find Roger. Um, yeah, I just really hope that they'll be able to um, find Roger and bring him back, hopefully, before that. I'm not sure, though, because it'll be two months to get to New York, they said, and then another two months to get back, or it might even be longer, so... Hopefully, things turn out alright, I guess. <sighs> Get him. Ooh, he got hit in the eye. Woo! Murder! Ooh, is that the letter from Jamie? Oh, I thought she was going to burn it, I was about to say. Oh, where are you going? No, be careful! <gasps> oh my god, I got shocked by that! <laughs> oh no, don't run away! You're pregnant! Oh no, she is. I need your help. Anything. Will you marry me? Oh, wow! It is with deep regret that I'll have to review what I saw you doing last night with one of my supposed suitors. Whatever it is you think you saw, you were pregnant to. No, I know what I saw. And I will write letters to the governor, sheriff. Knowing the severity of the punishment of this crime, you would do that. My life would be ruined. Then I'll tell Jamie. He knows. You have to be careful when doing these things, Brianna. Calm down. I was violated. And the baby. I don't, I don't know who was. Do you know this man? No, I found out later. His name is Stephen Bonnet. Mm hmm. John, please do something. Bisexual, but still. Oh, Billy Boy, I don't feel bad for him. Still, such a great actor. You have a son. I didn't know that. Oh no, John. Thank you. 
Stewart is such a beautiful man. I'm sorry. I didn't tell you it was Stephen Pollock when I knew. Oh, yeah. Had I, that might have saved Roger. It was too late by then. I thought I would keep a secret like that from you. Why couldn't it be a father to her? Okay. Of course you can. Yes. guessing is some sort of like not ritual but like entrance into the tribe because as we know from the last episode um we know that the mohawk tribe adopt people into their tribe so obviously i'm guessing all types of people including people from the western world or like example scotsmen so um yeah that's very interesting that was a great episode a bit slow in some areas and a bit all over the place a little bit it was overall a great episode and great people in this episode billy boyd oh, i love that man and he's just so sweet and then john was in this episode and then dude that scene just shocked me that's why i was like oh my god it's so scandalous I've never seen like john with another man in that way like obviously we could see that he really liked Jamie, but with this one, it was just like, whoa. Okay, very excited overall for the next episode, and obviously, the I think t the week after that is the final episode. So quickly already, like, it's, seriously, it's so quick, like, this season, like, it's flown by, but I've thoroughly enjoyed it, and I cannot wait to see what happens next, because seriously, it's been great, and... Yeah, it was a good episode overall. I think there was also many themes to talk about in this particular episode, especially the theme of forgiveness and even like, how should I say it? Just that element of family, how they get involved in a person's life. For example, like the auntie, the cousin or the friends of a parent or something. It's just like, it. through the last few episodes we've seen that and I've loved that because in reality, like, that's very relatable to lots of people, like lots of people getting involved and not really understanding the situation. Very interesting to see that and see that unravel and it just, like I could think of so many people throughout the last few episodes who I could relate to my family. I was like, ah, that's someone, ah, that's someone, oh yeah, that's someone, like it's all very relatable and uh, like if you guys find that relatable as well, please comment and tell me because like I felt that throughout the last few episodes. And that's what I love about Outlander because it's so relatable, especially with the themes that they cover and even that like that element of secrecy with like certain secrets that you have to hide like not the element of maybe like sexuality as much anymore because I mean there's so many people like celebrating LGBT communities like situations and stuff but like just secrets that a person may feel like it may um, ruin their reputation or even like change the perception of themselves to other people so in that way I love that that Outlander really look after that and like really show 
that to all audiences, especially in this episode with Jamie, like, he was so scared and Sam Hewen just portrayed that so beautifully, like, just the person, like, really telling someone that they were so scared of, like, their, um, image changing to their wife, in, like, for example, Claire, and then, like, to their child, like, obviously Brianna called him a savage, but then that's what I love about this particular season, um, They've done that so well. Like, even though some of the episodes have been a bit all over the place, a little bit messy, but still, like, the writing and the elements that they're trying to portray are there, and I really enjoy seeing that in this particular season. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reaction video. Please give it a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me what you guys thought of this episode. I thoroughly enjoyed it, like I said, and I cannot wait to see what happens in the new episodes of season four, and then it will be on to Droughtlander, unfortunately, once again. Um, it's come so quickly to an end, like, we've waited so long, and then, like, it's uh, just over in, like, a matter of weeks. So it's gone so quickly, but I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I cannot wait to see what else is in store for this amazing story. But the end is not near yet, so I will see you guys in the next video. Crazy Fangirl, out!